Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. Here we are, another Footies Friday in FC24, and another day where we're hoping EA take the training wheels off of this Footies content and truly let us have some end game fun. After all, it is August now. What I want to do is look at how EA might accomplish this today with Team 3. Yes, Team 3 of new Footies cards coming into packs today, but some other cards are sticking around. We don't actually have a lot of leaks, and that could bring some excitement to today, maybe with some surprises as to what maybe 99 rated cards we could be seeing. We have to talk a lot about the footies content today, but we also need to talk about our team of the season investment. Is it time to sell because some of the cards have gone up? Or should we still be waiting? A lot in this video today, guys. If you're excited for Footies Team 3, drop a thumbs up on the video. And, of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go to that yesterday content first. On Thursday yesterday, we actually had one of the best Thursdays of content in a while. Thursdays are usually pretty quiet, right? To set up a promo Friday with a lot going on. We had not one, not two, but three different player SBCs yesterday, of course. One of which was a card that was released on Wednesday, but finally dropped yesterday on Thursday. Let's go to the other upgrade pack that we had though first it was the SBC that we expected the guaranteed footies or team of the tournament player pack it was an 85 and an 88 rated squad it was pretty cheap to do only 88,000 coins but man the pack weight on this was not that great I forget who I packed from it it wasn't very memorable and a lot of them that we opened on stream were not very good either but for the chance had a pretty crazy player. Again, the ceiling on that pack is really high. You could pack a 15 million coin Mbappe. You could pack a 99 rated Graham Hansen, right? Or Rolfo from Footy's Team 2. It's worth doing. It's worth the try. And yes, Fodder did move a little bit yesterday, especially on that gold range. 84s, 85s, 86s, they were up. They are dropping now. They're probably going to stay low today. Fodder on Fridays has not done very well. Unless we get some crazy SBC today, I would not be investing in Fodder, as a lot of people will have packs that they will be opening for sure today with a new team of footies cards in packs. Now, we'll talk about Todd's Fodder a little bit later on in the video. Let's talk about the player SBCs that we had yesterday, because we had three of them and man the first one this Kubo SBC really a legend of FC 24 from his player of the month card he had a trailblazers early on guys this card if it had five star skills even if it had the exact same t statistics if this card had five star skills and he was this cheap he would be awesome but unfortunately he does not this is just a fun SBC to complete if you want to get yourself a Kubo with the quick step technical ping pass and power shot I bet he's pretty good in game with that agility and balance combination 99 ball control as well He's probably pretty good, but for most of us, it is just a fun card if you even want to do it because of the state of the stats and, of course, what we're looking for in this game. We also had Ricardo Carvalho, one of the other missing SBCs from last Friday, right? We had Sterling, then we had Carvalho. He actually looks really decent to me. I mean, this SBC as well is very cheap, only 72,000 coins. If you need a center back, he is Liga Portugal link, so maybe not the best links, but he's got Anticipate and an Aerial, two crucial playstyle pluses for a center back and of course he had every single defensive playstyle either in a playstyle plus or a playstyle regular it is a very nice card acrobatic is pretty interesting for a center back but hey maybe that actually helps out sometimes in game on crosses or clearances or something like that low high work rates he's going to stay back in defense so if you need a carvalho card like that to get a cheap center back in your team go ahead and craft that one the biggest sbc yesterday or maybe the most surprising was the bastion schweinsteiger of course his card was dropped yesterday two days ago i mean on wednesday and we finally saw his card yesterday in the game but five squads like i couldn't believe my eyes when i loaded into this sbc and you think five squads for an icon that really means there's like two squads because you have the bronze you have the silver you have an 80 rated squad which is a piece of cake and you have an 86 and an 87 that is like maybe the cheapest icon sbc of the entire year i don't know i have to look back through a bunch of icon sbcs to kind of confirm that but that is actually an sbc even with the card being somewhat mid you would say for that card for that price you might as well do two squads um, and then just get the other three done willy-nilly because everybody can do that uh, right now from just looking at their club basically that's awesome that is a really great price for an sbc for schweinsteiger I really have no complaints about that one just besides the card not being the most top tier. But when it's that cheap for an icon SBC like that, I have no complaints. So those are the SBC content pieces from yesterday. Now going to objectives, we did have more XP 
and kind of an SBC and objective combination. The daily login did refresh. It's the exact same daily login we've had now for the past three weeks. It's the exact same thing. 84 times 10 at the end with the same exact packs inside of it. No XP inside of this, but of course in the milestones, sorry, in the seasonal tab, your weekly XP, which is around 2,825, I think is the exact number. So somewhere just shy of 3,000 XP refreshing in there that was all that we had no new cup no new anything else yet but some of that could be coming today with content guys let's get right to it let's cut right to it and talk about the footies content that is coming today right because that's the big news it really can can ea say footies can ea do it today guys because we've been asking for the same thing now for the past basically week for sure maybe even a week and a half we've had one massive Player SBC, Butra Gueno. We've had a lot of good solid ones, right? You can name the Timo Werner. You can name the Dybala. Last Friday was a pretty good Friday. We've had Kaká. Kaká was good too, right? But like on one hand, you could count the genuinely good footies SBCs throughout this promo that were like really meta cards that a lot of people wanted to do regardless of nostalgia or whatever players are from your favorite club, right? There have just been a couple of those. Today, we need to have one of those players. And I honestly think today is one of our best chances chances to do it right in previous years of footies we've had big SBCs dropped for like 99 rated players and like the Ferlin Mendy the Dino from last year that we've kind of mentioned right those SBCs have been dropped in the third week of footies and like sub subsequently looking at the way the content's been dropped the past couple of weeks what have been the best days of content Fridays Saturdays or Sundays especially Fridays so if there's going to be another banger SBC or a banger content dropped I mean, today's the best shot for it. So that's why my hopes are up today. I hope EA deliver on this promo Friday because the first two Fridays of footies, remember the first Friday was the double Evo stuff. Last Friday, we had a really good week with the SBCs, the Butrogueno that was nice, the Dybala that was nice, the cards coming into packs for batch two were really nice. It was a banger as well. So it needs to be a banger today as well. And I think they're just going to have to do it two different ways. The first way is they got to make footies team three actually packable man like looking at this team i packed ledley king diego carlos condogbia bomb pastor that's it I, I did get a betty pele too but i'm sure a lot of you guys are the same way you have seen nothing of rolfo hansen best cantona lewandowski benzema pele rodman like all of those cards yeah sure some of you guys have maybe packed them but they're really really rare one way that ea can bring the hype back up for footies is actually allowing us to have a chance at packing some of these cards who like who cares it is August, the beginning of August now. This game is in its downhill trend. It's the fun time of the year because they're already getting us excited or trying to get us excited for FC 25 with everything that is coming out. But we want to enjoy this game, our coins that we have left, the ratings of the players, to the, to the best that we can enjoy this FC24 endgame period, it's just time for them to let the training wheels go. It's kind of the way that we've been saying it for the last couple of days, and I really hope that they can do that today. But I think the packability of the footies cards is one thing that a lot of us have been complaining about and struggling with over the past couple of weeks. And if that were to change and they were to drop a footies team today with the same cracked level of players in it, multiple 99 rateds, but actually make them packable, that would be really, really hype, and it would change a lot of the footies grind, I think, for us. Now, speaking of who's going to be in packs today, there's a lot of speculation. There's not a lot of leaks. This is not a leak tweet from ASY. He's normally one of our leakers on Twitter posting a lot about this. These are footies that he wants. There's some common names, though, that I've been seeing people saying that could be coming or like that saying that they want Mia Ham, Eto, Salah, Ronaldo, Dembele, right? Those are some names that I've heard a lot of people wanting to see in this game. Now, I am going to show you guys a couple of tweets that have been floating around in the hardcore community where the leakers aren't always the most credible. I mean, guys, I've never shown this guy's tweets on stream before. Usually we stick to the leaks that are kind of like tried and true, the guys that have had leaks for a while. This guy has not tweeted much since like, well, January, but he's tweeting leaks and he has tweeted leaks in the past. And some of this was brought to my attention from other of you guys um, in the community. And I want to show these and talk about these because they could be right. They could be wrong. So we're going to take it with a pinch of salt, of course. But like some of these cards are the ones that we would actually want. So that's why I'm a little bit excited too. Because if we get even a few of these, this could be a W. First of all, Eto. He's leaking Eto as an SBC. I'm struggling to believe that Eto's getting a card a little bit because there's some political things going on, we think, with Eto where he hasn't gotten a card this whole entire year. 
Maybe there's some stuff there. If Etel does get a card, imagine, imagine this drops as an SBC. It's like five star, five star, this Etel. And yeah, it's gonna be Buku expensive, but like that would go crazy. That's the type of card that we would love, right? But I'm not getting my hopes up too much, all right? We're keeping him in check. Frimpong, he's leaking as team three as well. That would be the best right back in the game, hands down. Yaya Toure, this one makes sense. Honestly, how many Yaya Toure Evos have been started over the past couple of weeks because of those evolutions that have dropped for footies? You guys know, right? Good Evo card comes out for somebody. Even better card comes out in packs soon after that. He says probably SBC as well. Eto and Toure SBCs seems a little far-fetched. Seems crazy though, right? Check would be in Team 3 of footies as well as he's leaking. Mane is set to come as a footies, probably SBC. This one I think is the most believable out of all the leaks. Like we had Dybala. And we had, um, who was it the week before? We had Timo Werner this last week as well. We haven't had a ton of Saudi League players. I could see this one actually being a leak. That would be really fun. And it could be a really cracked card as well. If Mane gets a premium footage for the chemistry boost, that could be a really fun one. Five star, five star, maybe a little finesse plus, quick step, you know, whatever else they could give him for playstyle pluses. That could be a good one right there. Renato Sanchez. Tell me about a 97 or a 98 rated car that would be overpriced, really hyped, really expensive in packs. This would be your guy. So, hey, there's potential for Renato Sanchez. The only thing is Renato has moved. I don't know if he's still PSG. Um, I think his club situation might be a little bit in the air. So... That kind of club link right there could be changing for him. That would be really interesting to watch too. And the same thing for any of these cards that would maybe be released in packs today. We've seen that recently during footies and even some of the last couple of promos that they are updating the players' clubs as there are transfers happening in the summer. Company, he's leaking as well in Team 3. That was an SBC we were hoping to see. He also tweeted this. There is also talk of him. I don't feel like confirming it. It doesn't come from my sources. But he tweets Ronaldo. So like... 99 Ronaldo to me, guys, this card, if it's going to be in packs, he, I mean, it's going to be in packs. He's not going to be an SBC. We just had the Ronaldo PTG as a 97. And sure, I'm fine with them going for the 99 Ronaldo. But if they're going to do a 99 Ronaldo, just skip the whole in packs thing and give it to us as an SBC. But when I think about that, last year when we had the 99 Cristiano Ronaldo card the, uh, in footies and the 99 Messi and the 99 Neymar, like these guys were not dropped as SBCs until September, literally. September 8th is when this Ronaldo was dropped as an SBC for 42 different squads in the last two or three weeks of FC, of, or actually FIFA 23. That was before FC, right? But of the FIFA 23 cycle, that was the end game. I think this is unlikely. Would it really save footies? Absolutely. freaking lutely Can you imagine on 99, even if they dropped this Ronaldo in, in SBC, that would be pretty crazy. crazy. They didn't even give him a footies version, just give him this. You know, we'd take the footies, of course, for the end game, but like even that one in packs or in uh, SBCs would be cr pretty crazy. So, again, with these leaks, he's putting Gattuso, Socrates, Ferdinand, and Usman Dembele as well. Ferdinand seems, I think, a decent shout. I think a lot of people um, have wanted Ferdinand, and that one would be a big one. So, for those leaks, we take them with a pinch of salt, to be honest. I'm believing like half of them, um, but also at the same time, we're taking them not really as true leaks because they're not confirmed yet. If we get more today, then obviously we'll know who it's going to be. But it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a surprise. All we have to see, though, is EA deliver on the surprise. EA deliver on the actual ratings, the actual pack weight, and just the hype of the cards that are going to be coming out today. So just make them different, EA. Make them packable, and we will be there. Make some five-star, five-star cards along the way, too. We will 100% be there. Now, we take those with a pinch of salt, but let's talk about SBCs. We already kind of mentioned that Eto, whatever player SBCs we get today, it's just got to be a banger. You guys know that. A 99-rated SBC seems unrealistic, if I'm being completely honest. Like, what's the rating on Butra? What is the highest rated SBC that we've had so far? 97. Kaka was what? 96 or, or 97. I, have we had a 98? I don't know if we've had a 98. We've had a couple of 97s, 95s, 96s. We know all about the 95s, right? The 95s are the annoying ones. So, um, yeah, I feel like it's maybe going to be a 97 or a 98 SBC today. I think they'll withhold the 99 from us just because, yes, it is August now, but I think they're still going to try to slow roll it and keep the only the 99s in packs. But it's all about the stats on the card as well. I would expect as well two player SBCs today. A player, like a regular player, and then also an icon or a hero. One or the other. I think we get two today. So EA, we've asked you enough. We've said it. You guys know that we want one of those big ticket SBCs that we have to actually grind towards. It seems expensive, but also worth it. It's just time to do it. All right. It's just time to do it. 
Now, with that being said, if we do get an Eto, if we do get a 98 rated SBC player that's like really cracked, one thing you're going to have to watch out for is the specific requirements on the SBCs because this is something that we saw a couple of years ago. If you remember that Ferlin Mendy or the Antoine Griezmann footies in FIFA 22, I think they even did it a little bit last year as well. They started requiring impacts or in the SBCs, some of the other promo cards from earlier on in the year that were re-released in packs in the footies re-release team one and two, like maybe winter wild cards, maybe trailblazers, maybe fantasy FC players, maybe foot birthdays. They could start requiring some of those players. It will make prices go crazy if it's a good SBC. So just kind of something to think about. If you start to see requirements in a player SBC today, right away when something drops that is different from just a team of the season or a team of the week, that will mean that some of the market's going to go up there. So that's just kind of something to watch out for. If you have a good amount of those cards in your club from the previous two re-release batches, you will be safe and you'll probably be able to do it, but it could make some cards go bananas in price. That's just one thing to mention. Speaking of SBCs today as well, the batch two player pick, um, you know, that we had last Friday, uh, guys, batch two is not going away, uh, but it is set to expire today. I would imagine that this is refreshed because once again, we're getting a new team of footies in packs today. Day, but team of the year Ronaldo, team of the year Van Dyke and Hansen, and then Tots, Messi, and Neymar, they are still in packs for another week. The fodder is going to probably get a little bit annoying, let's be completely honest. The pack the same fodder cards for the next week again. But to be honest as well, the higher rated fodder that we're getting from this batch is super nice, and it gives you the opportunity to craft SBCs very, very easily. So we do love that. Speaking of that today, I've got all of the crafting upgrade the crafting SBC objective packs all of them we're going to open all of these packs today on stream it is going to be a blast I'm excited to have some of these packs saved up and hopefully get a big SBC that we can craft towards today with that content so I'm pretty excited for that now let's talk about evos right let's keep it moving because evolutions EA I've got some ideas for you here as well the, Evo, the evos for footy so far have been decent uh you know the footies duo um, that was one of the first ones that we had, of course. We've had the footy superhero, footy's free kick crown. You know, we've had some good ones. Some great, some just medium. EA, I have a couple ideas. Let us Evo a footies card. They've released so many 95 footies. Why not be able to take that 95 rated Fakir that nobody wanted to do or the 95 rated um, Ruben Loftus Sheik that wasn't quite good enough on his own and give him a plus two to a 97? Why not? Make it 100K still. Make it a good boost. We will be there, and we will do that sort of thing to make a card meta enough to get into our team. EA, let us Evo a card and take it to 99 rated. Why not? It's August. It's the end game. Let us go that route. Let us have some fun with there. There's so many sick things that they could do with Evos. They've started it off. They've set, you know, kind of good parameters and a good foundation with allowing us to do two evos at once there's been some good footies ones but like again take the training wheels off here let us make any card five star five star that would be a great evolution as well even if it's not that big of a stat boost not a stat boost at all any rating just let us go five five that would be nuts that'd be crazy we would love that for a lot of the cards that have been dropped recently that are not five five that would be awesome. So we're definitely going to get a new Evo today. And what they've been doing on Fridays as well is they've been dropping two evolutions. So I would not be surprised if we had one Evo today dropped both times twice, right? Now, objectives as well. The cup, I believe, that was released two weeks ago is expiring today as well. I've had it completed because I got it done. But get your footies squads ready. There's been two full weeks of footies now with a bunch of low-rated player SBCs, a bunch of cards still in packs, and objectives, and just a bunch of players in general, right? A lot of pink footies cards flowing around. Get a footies team ready. I'm telling you, whether it's this week or next week or sometime, sometime soon, you're going to need a full footies squad. I think they require a full footies team almost every year inside of something, so I would not be surprised if that was a requirement soon. So maybe just go into your club and fit that out and see what you've got, and maybe you need to go craft one or two player SBCs that are one of the cheap ones. I would assume that icons and heroes would count as well. So you can add those in and uh, just make sure you have a decent footies team ready to go because I think that's going to be a requirement soon. So guys, that's the content we're looking forward to today, right? Players in packs, drop a couple of 99s, make the pack weight better for the middle tier and fodder tier cards, and just let us go hard, EA. Just literally do it. Take the trading wheels off. Let us grind as much as we want, and let us do the SBCs that we want to do, and drop big SBCs that feel worth crafting. Now, a couple things I do want to mention about the market and some other things from today, too. Firstly, the team of the season cards. A lot of you guys are asking, because I know a lot of you guys have invested. Nate, when do we sell the team of the seasons? They were 30, 31, 32,000 coins, right? Yesterday, I believe they hit 
a high price of like 35 to 37K for Tots cards. Now they're back down a little bit. Are we selling? No. Answer is no, we are not selling. We are holding the line because this is never the time to sell Tots cards just yet. We are looking between Sunday and Tuesday to sell all these Tots cards. The only ones you could really maybe sell would be somebody who dropped a lot. There was a meta card. Like I invested in the Araujo. How much are we? Oh, Araujo is yo 80 okay besides this undercut my bro is 80k and i have like 15 of these at 51,000 coins on my transfer list that's big money that's the type of card that you could maybe sell today if it's more of a meta one if it's somebody who people are buying for the weekend league objective that is requiring team of the season cards right oh saliba's 68k as well as buying him for 45 this is absolutely unbelievable we love to see it but these are the only types of cards that you could maybe sell today early would be kind of the meta ones that people would be using in their weekend league squads oh that's lovely we love that so the rest of the fodder cards for team of the season team of the weeks as well tots pluses i've got some of those invested of course you've seen my transfer let's have a pajor right Twenty two thousand coins hopefully these go to 30k plus if you're going to list for lazies list high like right now i expect tots pluses to go to like 31 32k right almost up 10k from where we bought but i'm going to list for like 37 that's probably where I would list a Tots Plus card or a Tots Moments card that's not fodder. And again, if you're if you're selling anything else, just be careful mass listing on the market because that's what's going to keep prices lower. If you're going to list a bunch of cards at once, all at the same price, that is usually not a smart thing to do. Just kind of some trading knowledge here in the late game as a lot of people are investing just to still make a few coins during footies. Uh, be smart with the listings. Don't flood the market. List one at a time if you have the time to do that, or just at least a couple at a time and space your listings out because you'll actually get better sales and better lazy sales on the market if you do that. Now, Footy's team too is also a question a lot of people have been asking about. And oh, Benzema is 400K. He has been straight up rising. So it looks like people are starting to invest in the cards from footies, especially the more rare ones like Benzema. I believe Alan St. Maximin starting to go up as well. He was 115, 112, and now he's up to 130K. There might be another dip at the content drop on some of these footies cards going out of packs. That could be a good time to get in, but it looks like there's just starting to slowly rise. Lewa was 670. That was another really good buy opportunity there for him. Again, we'll have to see. Like If we get an Eto or another big striker SBC today, then that could make a card like that dip a little and it can make some of the footies that are going out of packs drop a little bit so i'm not going to be investing in any of that i've got the tots investments that i'm very happy with but as you can see i saw this uh, benzema last night for four or 350 on the video and now he's 400,000 coins right benzema big name and he's pretty rare it's pretty rare so he's starting to go up some of those could keep rising the lower tier ones i think will do better especially if we do have some sort of footies requirement in a squad whether it's a cup or a weekend league requirement next week i think some of those footies could continue to rise up a little bit last couple things i do want to mention we looked at this pack code yesterday I'm really curious for these two today, the premium equalizer pack and the equalizer foundations pack. These sound like store packs. They honestly do, but if they're SBCs, that would be pretty crazy as well. I bet they'd be easy to complete, maybe a little bit expensive. Anytime EA drop a player SBC with like a bunch of players in it, like a hundred. Remember we had a 100 player SBC earlier this year that was like, like 20 bronzes, 30 silvers or 40 silvers or something like that. It wasn't a good value SBC. But if this 100 rare golds was to drop it as an SBC, that could be really interesting. But I think those might be in the store. And then a couple of other footies packs. This welcome pack seems really interesting. It just gives a bunch of loans and an 84 plus player pick. Doesn't seem too massive there. And then a footies essentials pack as well. Seems like a store pack. But uh, no other new pack code besides that, which is a little bit interesting, at least to me. Really, we're just going to have to see what EA do today to mix it up the ball's not in our court the ball's in their court it is your play ea drop something today that brings the hype i'm having all of those objective packs ready i'm prepared i'm prepared and hopeful that ea is going to drop something banging today i also have a couple of 77 fives left here as you can see i've been ripping through this crafting objective I'm up to 30 special cards packed, and I've probably opened like 150. I might have 10 of those left. Um, so that's what that 30 is in the top left. But I'm excited to craft today. I'm going to do the last 86 plus player picks and 84 times 10 before content today. Save those up to be a part of the big pack opening and just cross our fingers that EA drop us a banger today. Like genuinely, we need it. Okay, we need it. This game needs it. They better deliver today, guys. So we're going to be streaming during the content drop, looking at all the new stuff that comes out. And uh, yeah, seeing what this Friday of footies team number three will surprise us 
with. Watch out for the leagues before content today. Just one last mention about that, just so you maybe get a double check on who's going to be coming into packs today. But of course, if you enjoyed this video, drop them to it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys on the stream today. Peace.